Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today, we'll be reacting to My Hero Academia, Season 4, Episode 4. We are back from a week hiatus, last week we didn't have an episode, so now it's time to finally get back into it. But anyways, in the last episode, uh, Sir Night Eye finally accepted Midoriya and kind of took him in as an apprentice. He gave him a task. He said basically like, all right, you want my stamp of approval, then you're gonna have to take it from me. Now this made it really difficult for Midoriya because Night Eye has a quirk which gives him the ability to kind of see anyone's future that he touches, I believe, just for a limited amount of time, which is for more than enough time than he gave Midoriya to take the stamp. And so Midoriya was bouncing off of walls trying to grab the stamp with no success at all. However, Night Eye was actually really surprised at Midoriya's attention to detail while being in such a hectic situation, so desperate to get this stamp from him. At the same time, he was making sure not to get a speck of dust on any of his All Might posters that he had around the walls. So this really shocked Night Eye and he was actually surprised at you know, Midoriya's priorities because he put not messing up any of All Might's posters over a little bit over trying to get the stamp which is actually really interesting because if there was a situation where maybe bouncing off of a wall where a poster was could have helped him get that stamp he threw that aside to make sure he didn't dirty up any of the posters so that's actually really respectable and on top of that we had the ending scene now i'm pretty sure they're gonna go back into the ending scene again but just in case if you guys didn't see it um, Midoriya was pretty much minding his own business, strolling down the street, and then he bumped into a little girl. And this little girl was being followed by Overhaul, and this moment, I'm telling you right now as a manga reader, this is the moment where everything begins. Once Eddie, she's like running through the alley, she bumps into Midoriya, and Midoriya's like, hey, are you okay? And then Overhaul comes up from behind, and he was like, oh no, that's my daughter, I was just trying to get her back. Like, this moment right here is so key. So just remember it going into the future. This moment is really important. But anyways, um, a real quick disclaimer. I, like I said earlier, I am a manga reader. However, I read this part of the manga this arc happened so long ago so please pardon me if i do miss out on some things if i don't remember some things and in some situations some events might be just as brand new as it is for you to me so regardless i'm sure we're gonna enjoy this and i can't wait to get into this if you guys are excited make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more slice shonen content make sure to check out the cloud crowd discord link will be in the description and also consider supporting me and my channel through patreon for as low as two dollars but with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode all right, so this, as you guys know, is the part of the episode where you guys will be grabbing your source videos. If you do not have one, I will have one linked in the description. All you have to do is click the link, bring up the video, and get ready to sync it with me because we'll be starting episode four in... All right. Three, two, one, go. All right. Gotta get my volume down. Hey, look at Midoriya. Standing tall, looking beefy. He really gives off a hero aura now. <laughs> I love Meteo, dude. Man, he'd be such an awesome mentor to have. Oh snap, it's time. <laughs> Lemillion. All right. All right. Oh, and this is where it happens. Okay, so we're getting straight into it. Little Eddie. Oh man. 
She is terrified, dude. Here's you know who. Mm-hmm. This is first encounter. Let's go. Opening? Of course, of course. That's exactly where the ending scene ended last time. So it makes sense that they'd put the opening right here. And then after the opening, we get right back into the action. But this is so important because, you know, Midoriya was told to look out for this guy. And so this little girl bumps into him. He's like, oh, are you okay? And he finds out this guy that he was told to, like, kind of be cautious of is, like associated with her like her father somewhat like dude this is so huge and i don't remember what happens right now so i don't know if midoriya is gonna try to fight him or what oh my gosh and that cockroach dude wasn't he oh man i think there was like a poll in the manga right where someone could vote for like character designs and they chose a like cockroach dude <laughs> Man, I can't believe I remember that. That was all so long ago. But I don't think, was, I don't think he was the only character. I think maybe it was either him or the president, maybe? Like the, not the actual, like, president, president, but the president of UA. Um, Nezu, is that his name? I think he might have been a fan vote. I don't know. I do remember that cockroach design surprising me, though, so I think it was a vote. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they were tasked with uh, just to observe him. And not to, like, make any moves or anything. Mm. Dude, Meteo's outfit is pretty clean. Mm-hmm. Good, dude. Meteo is smart, man. He's trying not to rise any suspicion. Oh, no! Oh, little Eddie, dude! Oh, she's so scared. Dang, dude, she's so precious. <laughs> oh, man, Deku's not having it. He doesn't care. He knows this isn't right. Now he's going to keep his eye out for you, Deku. Oh, he said it. What's your answer, overhaul? Oh, snap! He's trying to pull him into the alley. He's like, not out here where there's witnesses. Let me tell you something in private.
Oh, snap. Oh, she knows, too. She's well aware of what's about to happen. Oh, man. This part broke my heart, dude. Dude. She's so strong, man. I love Eddie, dude. Oh my gosh. She needs to be protected at all costs, man. She knows what Overhaul is capable of. So when she saw him, like, grab his glove... She, like, panicked and ran over to him because she didn't want him to do anything to them, to Deku and Mirio. Dude, what a trooper, man! Hang in there, Eddie. We're coming for you. Oh, no. Oh, dude, I knew it. Once his hand didn't have the glove on, I knew he was going to get messed up. What is that on his face, though? He didn't always have that, right? It looks like a rash or something. Dang, Night Eye is tall. And this man is hunching over, too. Or slouching, I guess. New intel. Eddie. Yeah. Dang, haste makes waste. Dang, you gotta follow the rules as a hero. Yeah, imagine what would have happened if Eddie didn't run back when she did. Like, they would have had to fight Overhaul right then and there, and I don't think either of them are ready for that. I mean, you saw what he did to the League of Villains. He messed them up with ease. Shigaraki, hey! He got our calling card. Dang, and hear it, dude. This is the moment where it all begins, dude. And we're back in UA. These subtitles are kind of weird to read. <laughs> Sue you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> you didn't even say anything yet. <laughs> Dang. Deku probably had the roughest first day. Going for an afternoon jog. Oh my gosh! Deku came there for answers. He is not playing around. Well, I feel like if he would have told him before, then he would have felt like he wasn't worthy of it. Wow. I love that little... I don't know. When they, like, blew his hair out of the way. That was cool. Mm-hmm. Hey. Dynamic duo. The brains and the brawn. Although, All Might isn't too dumb either. And Night Eye's actually pretty fit. Dang. Yeah. Dang. Must have been crazy seeing him like that. Seeing All Might without a smile. Dang. And that's just how it'll end. That's how it'll have to end. Because he can't give up now. Mmm. Wow.
Dang. That was deep. Holy. Oh my. My hero, dude. What a champ. Oh, man. Yeah, and just think about that. Like, if he was already advised to retire before he met Deku, think of all the crap he's been through since he's met Deku, and he's still hanging in there. Because he has to. Mm-hmm. Hmm. This year or next year? Who, man? Let's go. Man. Mm. Dang, man. Oh my gosh. Dang, so he saved him. Mm-hmm. And this is why he has to keep fighting, dude. This is why he can't give up. My boy, All Might. Let's go, dude! What a powerful line right there. Dang. Let's go. Defy that destiny. Dang. Let's go. Dude. Let's go. <laughs> it's time. Man. That's one hell of a way to end it. <laughs> mm, man that was so powerful dude that ending hit me when he transformed and said that he'll twist the world not the world he'll twist the future into whatever shape he wants with his own two hands dude that's so powerful that's like dude if he would have said that to night eye then like 
I don't think Night Eye could help but accept it. Like, dang, he's made up his mind, clearly. All right, then real quick, if you guys want to skip ahead to 2255, we'll be checking out the ending scene and seeing what it has in store for us. So we'll be starting this in three, two, one, go. All right. Overhaul, looking like a mob boss. Shigaraki. <laughs> oh, was that it? Okay, there's a preview though. Fat Gum! My boy Fat Gum! Dude. All right, dude, Kirishima. Oh my gosh, dude. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. All right, so that was the end of episode four. And man, speaking of Kirishima and Fat Gum, dude, two things I want to say real quick. They're not spoilers. Kirishima, dude, you're going to see this season why he's my favorite character. And then regarding Fat Gum, I think if I could have any superpower, there's like two I have in my head, but one of them would be something like what Fat Gum can do, and we'll eventually down the line see what his power is, but yeah, it'd be something revolving around Fat Gum's power, so pay attention to that. But anyways, this episode was insane. In the beginning, we got to see the exchange between Midoriya, Overhaul, and Eddie, and Eddie is so strong, man. She's just a little girl. She's just a little girl, and she has the maturity to think for others and, like, think for more than just herself. Because even though she knew how scary Overhaul was, she didn't want Meteo or Deku to get involved. So instead, she, you know, sucked it up, stood up tall, and walked back over to Overhaul so that he wouldn't hurt them. Which is, like, that's so mature for someone of her age i'm guessing she's probably around like eight maybe seven or eight and dude that's just she's so freaking strong and then after that we had the exchange between midoriya and um all might and this was just an episode of feels man if you weren't in your feels this episode you aren't human it's just it was so impactful man and I think they really knocked it out of the park in this episode. So I can't wait to see what they have in store for us in the future episodes. A lot of big moments I'm excited for. And I'm sure you guys are excited to see some hype as well. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord. Link will be in the description. And also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that, I'm going to head out. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.